You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a new face for Greater Brockton. Not a new face for Brockton. I have Linda Kenny Logan. Linda, nice to see you. Nice to see you, Mark. Thank you for having me. Um, you've always done good work. You've always been a volunteer extraordinaire in Brockton, and you are helping to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the Michelle A. Logan Family Center, which is located over at the Raymond School on Oak Street, correct? Correct. Okay, now Linda was married to Charlie Logan, who was the husband of Michelle. <laughs> Charlie was a city councilor for anybody One that... Of those truth is stranger than fiction. Right, yeah. but you were involved at the school even before you met Charlie. Well, yes, Michelle was one of my close friends. The, the Michelle Logan Family Center was started by the PTA ladies. Mm -hmm. We were all together. Uh, at the school for many, many years, and the Raymond School gets into your blood. People tend not to leave, even after their children move on. They exactly. continue to volunteer. So Michelle was one of our friends, mm -hmm. and we started the center in her honor because she was such an extraordinary person. What's the purpose of the Michelle Logan Family Center? Well, it's to a place to join the school and the families. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a physical place. Right. It's a center uh, that has a computer for parents to use. It's got a lending library, uh, parenting materials, you know, of toys in case a parent has to be in the school and ditch their toddler for a while in a quiet place. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a physical place, but it's also a place for programming for the school so right. that we learn from the families that the school is, is what they want. And it supports the school and the school supports it. Well, not not, not monetarily. Right. It's, it's a private charity or mm -hmm. a public charity, so that we're supported only by donations, which is why we're having this event. But um, otherwise, the school is tremendously supportive. Carol McGrath is the principal of the Raymond School. And right. She is just wonderful in working with us and <coughs> helping us determine what we can, what ways we can help the school the best. And she is also very helpful to us in helping with our events. Whenever I've gone over there, I used to do ward meetings when Charlie was the counselor and some of the different events. It, it's a school that has a real heart, okay? The people that mm -hmm. are involved in the, in the Raymond School for years and years. Brockton has a good school system, always has. It does. And we're hoping it stays good because it has funding challenges, and that's why private funding is so important because there isn't as much public funding to do things that you want to do. Well, and we do so well is because we have the people. We might not have money, but we right. have hearts. You sure do. Now, this is a whole family affair, too. Your, your son, Russell, is now on this board. All right. Russell was Michelle's son, and I adopted him when right. Charlie and I got married. Mm -hmm. and so he is now on it, and Nancy Tucker, who is Charlie's niece, joined the board this year. Okay. And, uh, well, it's... We're the only family members, but and the rest Ru feel like family. Well, that's that's a good thing. Now, I know Russell because he used to play one of the sports. I can't remember which one with one of my sons. Uh, how baseball, old is I How think. old is Russell now? He's 24. Wow. Yeah, my youngest son. So it, it, yep. it would be Philip. Um, and so I'm sure it's nice to help continue a family legacy. Well, it is, and it, it, it's it's so instructive to have someone his age on the board because he has, just has different perspectives on things and he grew up at the Raymond School. He sure did. He sure yeah. did. So tell us about the event. I know the event is March 3rd. March 3rd from 6 to 10 mm -hmm. at the perfect place down on Main Street, Fred Fontaine's Function Hall, which is a beautiful space and we encourage people to use that as much as they can yep. to patronize Fred. Uh, he's been a very generous donor toward our event so we appreciate that. And there'll be uh, a buffet dinner, mm -hmm. social hour, a short program. We don't want to program people to death, but just to explain the history and uh, introduce family members and that sort of thing. Dinner and then dancing. Wow. So what's the, do you know the capacity? How many people are you hoping to get over there? I, I've been to events there. Every time I go, it's set up differently, so I have no clue. We're hoping for about 100, 125 people. Mm -hmm. So it'll still feel cozy, but... It is, and if, if you're like me and you've been here forever, it was Siciliano's, it was Reed Steakhouse, it was Greedo O'Shea's, it's been a whole bunch of things. And now, as Fred calls it, it's the perfect place. 
And no gondolas anymore. <laughs> no, no. But he's talking about Sunday brunch. I heard him. I was just at an really? event there for the NAACP, and he said, we might be doing Sunday brunch. I said, good, because that used to be my favorite Sunday brunch when Sicilianos did it. I used to go there. I had friends that loved that place. Uh, you're starting to see brunches now. You're starting to see, uh, what is it, uh, Rwanda does one. Um, Tambu's going to do another one. Of course, we now have JJ's, but that's a whole breakfast. But they just made Chronicle. Brockton's we just on went the map. there this week for a family center meeting. There you go. <laughs> so, um, does your group depend? You have a board, but mm -hmm. do you depend on volunteers to help run the center? We do. Uh, we for our events we draw volunteers from the PTA and from the parents at the Raymond School, from our friends, yeah. anyone we can persuade to come sure. along and help. Uh, depends on the type of event. But we try to work closely with the parents in the school to get them more involved, and that's one of our goals, is to work more closely with the PTA, because that ebbs and flows. It depends who that is changes, on the PTA, right? and it's different groups all the time. And we've had some setbacks in the center for the past couple of years with so many sicknesses and things that we haven't been as strong a presence as we were for a while. So we're well, trying to. Well, this is to reinvigorating, it, right? Exactly. Okay. And with our new board members, we have a new chair, Mary Lou Best. Okay who is new to the board. Uh, Yvonne Burdett okay. is new. Um, Carla Fernandez, who's been a professional at the school, a paraprofessional, and also a volunteer at the Family Center since we opened. Mm -hmm. So she is now on the board. So we're That's very great. excited. I hope I haven't left. Oh, Nancy Asmutis, who is also a, a school person. So does the, does the center have a, is there a separate phone number? Is there a website? Do you have a Facebook? How would people get in touch with you? We, for tickets to the event, um, they can be purchased online through our website, which is www.loganfamilycenter.com. It's very easy. Okay. And the, the mailing address and the phone number are my home ones. Okay. Since it's so hard to navigate sometimes through the whole public school department to sure. get our mail and things. Uh, and that number is 508-588-4909. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we will not be selling tickets at the door just because it's so hard with a catered event. We have to have a proper you count. you got to know so. ahead of time. Is there, a, is there a cutoff for the event? When are you going to sell? Until uh, at least the 26th. Okay. Mm. That's good. And There's I wouldn't turn somebody away after that. <laughs> but you don't want the, the, the door thing is complicated. It doesn't matter what yeah. you, and people don't RSVP as much anymore. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have, is there a Facebook for the, for the, um, We are group? on Facebook as Michelle A. Logan Family Center. So we'll send you the link so mm -hmm. you can post it for this interview. You can put it on your, your Facebook. Oh, fabulous. Okay. We, we use our, we have a Facebook, the Brock, Brockton Community Access Facebook. But we have a YouTube, which is the Brockton Channels. Just like Channel 5 has the Boston Channel, yeah. we did the Brockton Channels with an S. Or as Jay would say, backslash, all one word. Okay, oh, when we do that. Idea. And, and uh, we're going to go, we're going to get some of the clips of your event as well, mm -hmm. and then we'll help you publicize it afterwards. Just know that you can always promote whatever you're doing for the center on cable. That's what we're here for. That's what this show is here for. And, uh, you know, once in a while when you have a big event or something you want us to cover, give us a call and we'll come over. Oh, be sure we will take you up on that. Okay. <laughs> and since this is our 20th year, we, we do plan to do several events over the course of the year to continue the celebration. So. Okay. Well, thanks for being on. I just got oh, the cue. Thank you for your help. Gla always glad to. Always glad to help you. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions. And we're up.